Well, hello, 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 everyone. I got a little riddle for you to start off this video. If we know that this magical rainbow tissue is unicorn skin, and I know this because I personally peeled the skin off of Charlie to put it on my nails, and that this magical rainbow shifting liquid held captive in a nail polish bottle is unicorn pee, do you see the shift? Can you see it? Of course you can unless you're blind. Then what part of the unicorn body is this? At first glance, you might think it looks like seaweed, but I'm a unicorn scientist, and so I can tell you that seaweed is not part of the unicorn body. It is a plant. These are unicorn veins, guys. Obviously. Just look at that network of capillaries. And where does any part of the unicorn body belong? On our nails, duh. Yeah, let's do this. I start off with a peel off base coat because I like to peel things off my nails, especially unicorn body parts. And oh my god, yes, my nails are yellow. Hurry up and go write a comment that responsabilizes someone else about their health. Now I'm gonna apply some black polish. I'm using the winning polish from my what's the best black polish video, the drugstore edition. And I'm putting some white on my other nail because I like me some variety. There's also a video on what's the best white polish. You can go watch that too. Yay, so much education. I'm now adding my my current favorite quick dry top coat. I put a link below to that. You can also get 10% off this top coat with my code simply if it's not sold out. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm sorry, I don't control order stocking. And now let that quick dry top coat dry. Hey, it's the cat clock again, cause we're gonna add nail vinyls next. I'm just using some plain striped nail vinyls, but if you want the best selection for nail vinyls ever, for stripes, chevrons, swirly things, whatever, I always put a link below in the video description box to where you can get all my shit. So what I'm doing right now is kind of optional for the purposes of putting unicorn veins on your nails. I just thought it would be cool to have a black and white color block underneath, okay? Peel off the vinyls and oh my god, did you guys just see that? It almost took off my whole mani. Serves me right for doing this and wearing a peel off base coat, I guess. Phew, that was a close one. And I'm doing some other random black and white color block on my other nails because why not? You only live once, so do weird color blocks. And also, can we just please pay attention and notice that the creamy white is covering the black in one coat? <gasps> oh my god, this is so satisfying, guys. Look at that white. However, my ability to press down nail vinyls was not quite as satisfying. Back to the veins. Yes, I harvested all these unicorn veins myself. You're welcome. Don't worry guys, all the unicorns were already dead and they all checked off the little organ donor checkbox on their death certificate things or whatever health policy forms. In the name of science, Charlie, in the name of science. Okay, no, but really, they call these laser lace and I got them from this random, really cheap shop that I found online and I put the link below to that. There is no link to unicorn organ harvesting. You'll have to contact me offline for that. Next, you're gonna need some tiny Russian scissors to cut up those unicorn veins and just kind of eyeball it in terms of cutting out a rectangle that might fit your nail. Ooh, I wonder what unicorn eyeballs would be like on your nails. So you can start by rounding out the edges around the cuticle and place it over top of your nail to see if it will kind of fit. Now, in all honesty, I wasn't really sure exactly how to apply these to the nail without all the little fibers sticking out like a scarecrow because I got the idea to go hunt down these unicorn veins from this account on Instagram, but they didn't explain anything about how they did it at all. And then I did some more research and realized that they were a nail tech working out of a nail shop. So of course they didn't want to tell us common folk the unicorn secret. It all makes sense now. But hey, I'm a nail art vigilante and I'm gonna use the unicorn veins if I want to. So yeah, um, what am I doing? I'm basically pressing the veins down into a really thick and still wet coat of glossy top coat. Make sure to press down really gently because you don't wanna spray or shoot the top coat out everywhere. That would get kind of messy. Once you feel like the unicorn veins are mostly secured down into the nail and kind of stuck there, just go ahead and start chopping off the loose fringes around the nail with your tiny Russian scissors. I used a clean dry brush to brush away some of the remnants and just go ahead and keep forcing those veins into your nail if you have to. Kind of helped to use a clear sheet of plastic once the top coat was mostly dry but still a little squishy to then place it over top of the whole nail and push down. Woohoo, we got a fly away menchie hair. Meow. I still needed to do some chopping around the sides of the nail, despite the fact that these Russian scissors are supposed to be tiny and precise. Personally, I was terrified when I was doing this because I kept thinking I might accidentally stab myself with the scissors. I should have probably just took Sveta out of the closet from my previous kidnapping and had her cut it. Taking you! Taking you! Taking you! 
Sorry! But you know, I was trying to be nice. She was taking a nap. Let's do it again. On my other nail. The reason why I did black and white underneath, if anyone was wondering what the hell I was thinking when I did that, was so I could see what unicorn veins looked like over black as well as over white. And I've decided they look kind of boring over white. A little girly. Definitely not badass. And now we shall seal in the veins to become one with the unicorn. Pretty soon when you open your mouth, you will actually vomit rainbows like the Snapchat filter. Now here I'm just using my new favorite quick dry top coat, which also happens to be a super thick, nice and thick and juicy glossy top coat. But I did try a gel top coat on my thumb just to see if it would make a difference. And I still get a little bit of bumpiness of the unicorn veins sticking out. So yeah, it didn't really make that much of a difference. Oh my God. We have not yet discussed what's on my other hand. It's a beautiful black hollow, but please excuse the raunchy state of my nails and cuticles. It's been about eight days since I've changed this nail polish. Now let's get back on track. Vein tracks. <laughs> Calm down, drug addicted unicorns. This bluish, greenish, yellowish unicorn veins is probably my favorite of the bunch of veins I had to choose from. Here's a look at the more yellow leaning veins. And here's the pinkish veins. Yeah, I didn't really like these ones so much. They're kind of boring. But I had to experiment with all the different color veins I could find and over black and white just so I can show you all the magical possibilities. I do notice that the veins look better over white in indirect light. You ready for it? You ready for it? Yeah, look at that. See, those vein tracks come out to play at night. Hold on a second, I'm sensing a magnetic force. My nails are suddenly attracted to the unicorn skin. The unicorn skin wants to be one again with the unicorn veins. They wanna be in the same body. Well, too bad, cause you're dead and I'll decide what I do with your body parts. Wow, I must sound like a complete sociopath. And now it's that time where we peel off our nails so we can save them under our pillow. I'm using my favorite nail oil. I put the link below to help loosen the nail shell. And you just take an orange stick or a wooden stick or whatever kind of stick and gently push it under and pop it right off. It's really satisfying. You should try it sometime. By the way, I did wear these for at least 24 hours, so they didn't pop off for at least a day. But will it work with a gel polish top coat oh my god it's working guys do you realize what this means I'm gonna do a video on that soon now bow down to the unicorn vein shells bow down and thanks so much for dissecting a dead unicorn with me and I'll see y'all next time bye